Hello everybody, hope you are all doing very well and welcome back to another cryptocurrency technical analysis where in today's video I'm going to be covering for you all a micro and macro term look at Bitcoin, okay? Starting on the smaller time frame here and how I have been sculpting Bitcoin in its range that it's been in over the last three days. Actually must be a little bit more than that now. How long have we been in this range now? It has been three days, two hours, okay? So what we've just been within this range for three days, two hours. How have I marked out this range? Simply by taking a, a, a resistance resistance and a support okay giving me a support and a resistance line to be keeping my eye on here i'm going to be covering this red line later on in the video because it's no surprise to me that we came up and touched this red point before coming down and getting rejected back onto the middle of the range okay so how have i identified the, the middle of this range it was simply taking look if you look very closely you see resistance 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 support 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 okay you extend it on you could extend this on very simply expanding this right and then you have a range going on until it breaks. Uh, I'm going to remove the expansion because I don't want that uh, on the chart currently, <clears throat> but that's how you get the range. And then obviously I've created this into a parallel channel. Should we break down from the middle of this range? I want to have a, a, an idea of where we could be finding support of a channel. Okay, obviously this is a not a confirmed parallel channel at the moment, but you know, it's something that I like to do in my trading. Should we break down? I have a rough idea of, of you know, a potential buy area for me. Okay, I'm getting the bottom of this channel obviously from this old candle uh, on the hourly support which is around 3780 okay if we turn on the exponential moving averages here uh, you can see on the exponential moving averages 100 ema on the hour sat at 3840 if we look at the daily the eight exponential moving average is just at the bottom of this range uh, around 3780 okay so we have daily sat in there we have the four hours catching up very nicely obviously curving down the quicker um eight and twelve curving downwards now histogram also curving down on the four hour not a nice four hour picture to be painting uh, but for me nothing to worry about while we still hold the mid range although the four hour you know our, our four hour oscillators are looking a bit bearish emas are looking a bit bearish but um yeah nothing to worry about in my opinion while we still hold the mid-range okay so that was uh the smaller look at bitcoin simply really simply i'm just sculpting between the ranges okay um <clears throat> and while bitcoin holds the range for me it's a great opportunity to be, be to be sculpting altcoins okay so this morning when bitcoin moved up here i had my alert go off okay um I wanted to only have alerts because I know that we're in such a big resistance area. I didn't want to have buys placed above here to buy, you know, that, that's the, the way you could potentially play it. Yeah, have buys placed above this level. Um, so then if you get a break, you automatically just buy. Uh, that is what I want to do right now on Bitcoin because we're sat at a really big resistance level for me. Okay, so I prefer to have price alerts go off, have the price alert go off and be ready at my computer. But you see this went off at 6 a.m. Okay, so I have my price alert going off at 6 a.m. Uh, but I'm a person that likes price alerts going off. That for me means there's volatility going on. It brings my attention to wake up and start trading. So that's what I've done. And the reason I don't have price alerts but there because because of this region the, like the fake outs that you can get we are on a massive resistance level if we weren't sat at resistance then sometimes i'll place buys above uh, above resistances um but not right now on, on on how bitcoin is you know it's not worth it for me as it i'll go over the resistance on the bigger term time frame that we're seeing um let's go over it now why not uh, I am actually still in trades as I'm making this video so I'm going to be keeping it quite quick um but yeah I am in some yeah I'm in some trades right now um yeah, the, the, oh, so what I was going to say, actually, that's what I was. I forgot to say that when we were moving down here, that was my opportunity of buying into some altcoins, okay? And a lot of the altcoins that I bought in obviously had to move down with Bitcoin, but then all of them were seeing 2 to 3% bounces, okay? So if you buy those, you know, you obviously don't just randomly buy in, but if you see an alt coming down to a nice FIB level, nice horizontal, nice exponential moving average support, then, you know, it's worth, well, for me anyway, it's worth the risk to reward of buying there, um, especially as I, as I, kind of just thought it would be holding the mid-range and that's why this morning um you know i obviously tweeted out saying i was looking for scaling into some alts and it was for that exact reason uh, and obviously that played out very nicely with bitcoin hitting the mid-range and getting a bounce off of it during the next few hours that gave the altcoins a little bit of space to move up you know two three four percent and the ones I was doing today, well, I'm not going to go through them all, actually, but I was doing VeChain, uh, VeChain, ONG. Uh, I've done a scope on Litecoin on IOTA. OK, I, th that was on Bitfinex. But, um, you know, I'll show you really quickly, like the VeChain one, like really big example where this like smashed up right through. OK, so we were we broke. This was after Bitcoin had already had its move down, by the way. But obviously that had already happened. And VeChain had a really nice run up this morning. OK, really big pump up this morning. OK, but then look what happened that this horizontal resistance 
here, this horizontal resistance flipped into support. Okay, and that was just a simple case of buying the you know the breakdown of that resistance flipping into support, buying a bounce. Okay, up to the top, Bollinger Band closing up. Okay, that's all you want to do for these scalp positions is really quickly enter in and buy out. Uh, you sorry, enter and, and and enter a scalp position, or you want to scared into that position, then buy out as it gets the bounce. Okay, it's not for any sort of long term positions. It's literally just for a scalp. Um, so with that said, I'm going to take a look at Bitcoin on a larger term time frame here and show you this red line that we've bounced off at. OK, so looking out at the daily, let's go out on the daily. OK, let's go over here. I'm taking the Fibonacci from this wick up that we had on the 15th of October. OK, so the wick from the 15th of October, um, because this is going along with the Fibonacci, uh, the Elliott wave count that I have here, when on the overall this was ending in an ABCDE and then we broke down from the ABCDE triangle, OK, giving us a one, two, three, currently in wave four, in my opinion. And I'll cover that as well, actually, might as well. Um, but yeah, what this red line is, is the 236 Fibonacci level. So at $3,993.50, okay? The top price today got within $1.50, okay? Top price being $3,995, okay? So $1.50 off the 236 Fibonacci level. Really, really nice to see, okay? So that's where I got that Fib from. That's the red line that we were looking at earlier. And you can just see how, you know, throughout with you really been struggling on the 236 level okay 236 has been struggling you know for the last two months to actually get over this and what's happening now obviously you all know we're just forming lower high lower high lower high lower high potentially um, but what i want to show you is this trend line that i've got here okay so trend line taken from the low OK, let's put the magnet tool on. Uh, let's take out the ray tool from the low on the 6th of February. OK, so first click on the 6th of February. This ray tool will just expand what we click on next. OK, so taken from the 6th of February low and I'm going to expand it down onto the high on the 29th of November. And you're going to see what happens here. OK, so another click and that's going to expand the ray tool on. OK, from the 6th of February to the 29th of November high, expanding that on. OK, you can see that this is now potentially, you know, resistance, resistance being too strong. Today, getting very close up to this resistance level, which also sits on the 236. And that's what I'm looking at here. You know, obviously, there was big resistance on the Fibbit level itself. This potential trend line resistance that we're also seeing, just the resistance of being another potential lower high. OK, so there are definitely, you know, that's why I wanted to protect myself, basically, because, you know, we are just seeing lower high, lower high, lower high. You know, I would love to us, love for us to paint a higher high on this chart. Um, but until that comes, I'm protecting myself with my capital. Um, and what I see seen here is a, a one, two, one, two, three, four, five in wave three. And now it does seem the possibility that we're getting an ABCDE triangle with a one, two, three for A. A, <clears throat> sorry, I need to uh, click on the right uh, start here. Uh, so the ABC with a ABC in A, ABC in B, A, B, C in C. Let's see now if we hold this C resistance and come down for an ABC for D coming up for an ABC into E and then we break down okay at the top of wave four okay being wave four and then we break down for you know an, a final fifth wave coming down here okay uh, potentially you know I've got my eyes on 3000 the actual number itself 3000 2800 2200 1800 really um, play it from here you know I'm not a, I don't like to make these predictions really um, I play the charts as they come, but that's what I've got my eyes on, on the potential that we could be seeing the ABCDE triangle here. Really, the obviously, the main resistance is going to be here at uh, 2,400. We can potentially, if you're looking at this as an ABC coming down for B, then you've got a 3, 3, 3. You know, let's see if we get a 3 down, 3 up again to finish wave 4, uh, to come down for that fifth, fifth Elliott wave. Okay, so that's what I've got my eyes on. Uh, very easy to be invalidated. All we need to do is move a put across here, and this will invalidate the triangle. Um, Obviously, if you're taking A from the top here, OK, there are a, a few different ways that I'm looking at. But I, I really do think that and let, until we get a break over the 382, then, um, you know, it is bearish and there's no need to be thinking. Um, well, I, I, I obviously I want to explain something because people kind of don't understand when I'm like tweeting out. And I guess it's hard to decipher some of my tweets <laughs> um, if, if you don't. I'm not thinking the same way I'm thinking. You know, there's obviously opportunity to be bullish short term. OK, so don't get me wrong. There's the opportunity of where everybody's greedy. You want to be fearful. And when everybody's fearful, you want to be greedy. OK, just playing against what the average person thinks. OK, that's the way you want to be trading, not trading with the crowd. Um, and, I'm, I, you know, don't get me wrong when 
you know that that doesn't mean that i want to suddenly be a bull on this area when everybody's fearful okay doesn't mean as well that i'm going to be a bear when everybody's a bull but it, you know you just have to you know keep that in mind and think what the average trader is doing because the majority of the time they're going to be wrong the average trader is going to be wrong and going to lose money okay so that's just something to keep in mind and that tweet that i made this morning i know it had a lot of people confused uh because they were sending me messages but that's all i mean basically so i hope that's explained that um, but yeah, it's hard to explain it when you're not in my brain. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's basically what I wanted to say, that we are just really forming another higher low at this potential point. Yes, we can still break up from here. We can still break up from here, obviously. Uh, let's see of what we get on a Fibonacci expansion. Uh, let's see, one-to-one. -one. Uh, yeah, we've hit the one-to-one. -one. Okay, so this is a, a nice place, really, for the ABC coming up. Okay, you know, it, it all's pointing towards, you know, that we're hitting resistance here. Okay, coming up to the... Um, you know, this area is really, really big resistance with, you know, goes without saying that we are hitting resistance here and it's going to be difficult for the bulls to get across. Obviously not impossible, not impossible. And, you know, that's where we're short term still seeing if we can hold this midline. Really, that's what I'm looking at. If not, we're going to have to look for a, for a pullback to, you know, bottom channel support firstly. And if we lose bottom channel support, then you know, uh, just offhand here, looking to around 3,720, uh, 3,730, um, 3,620 more or less. These are sort of the areas you'd be looking at. You don't, you know, I'm taking it really kind of one day at a time just keeping it on lower term time frames just remain scalping every day i'm not entering into any swing positions at the moment i'm just literally trading every day as it comes um you know that helps me with my bias and like eliminating biases just just switch just scalp trading like that really helps uh for longer term trades in my opinion be, by by that saying i'm not at these levels right now i'm not entering into longer term trades obviously you all know i've got longer term trades that i hold for bitcoin um but this right now is not a level where i'm comfortable entering long-term positions okay be that long-term shorts or long-term uh longs okay it's not a level where i'm comfortable buying okay buying or selling at this area and that's why i'm just literally playing it day by day hour by hour sculpting the ranges and waiting for bigger breaks to happen where you know i'll continue to sculpt the breaks when they come but i'm not entering into swing positions at these levels okay on bitcoin okay um, so I hope that explains that. Although overall, you know, it goes without saying you're on a big resistance level. OK, really big resistance level right now. But, you know, short term, the, the momentum is with the bulls. Um, but, you know, we are hitting really big resistance here. And that's everything that I think I wanted to cover in this video. That trend line, the uh, A1234, you know, coming down for the fifth possibly, the ABCDE triangle. Uh, I'm not going to bother going through my altcoin trades of the day. Um, don't have time. Um, but yeah, they were nice. Uh, just thinking of it, if that's everything. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's everything. Um, oh yeah, this was a, a tweet that I was going to cover because I just had the reply to it. Uh, yeah, so this guy replied to me today uh, saying, very true, uh, you know, this is the actual tweet that I wanted to cover. So newbies dream about what they can buy with open profits or freeze from the shock of comparing open losses to their paychecks, okay? Thinking about money interferes with decision making. Professionals focus on managing trades. They count money only after those trades are closed. Um, and this is a level, let's say you were long, let's say you longed the bottom of this falling wedge, okay? We all know that this, you know, Bitcoin was falling. I'm just going to really quickly draw it up here really roughly falling this falling wedge let's say you longed the bottom of this falling wedge okay and now you'd be sat in very 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 nice profits okay you could be sat in hundreds of thousands of profits from this move up if you are congratulations but the problem is if you're just counting profits here and not realizing profits then those profits do not mean anything until you've closed the trade okay so all the people that are sat in profits at the moment and have not closed a profit then you shouldn't be thinking about the next trade you should only be thinking on that trade that you're in right now and there's no point in counting the money while it's sat as unrealized profit you want to close out trades to realize that profit okay you know time and time again people will be looking at open trades thinking it's going to go higher it's going to go higher it's going to go higher but really that's not what you should do as a trader you should have potential areas of where you're taking profit and i think if you had bought the bottom of this falling wedge well the falling wedge actually uh, the trend lines I've removed, but it's going to be more or less from here. Taking the percentage of that profits, you know, you have reached, in my opinion, the uh, the take profit target. And it's just a case of, you know, well, obviously I can't say where your targets are, but the average trader of trading that falling wedge would have hit their take profit target now. So you should be locking in profits. It doesn't mean you have to not go into more long positions or look for new opportunities, but you should, in, you know, really as a trader, if something hits your target, be closing out and taking that profits rather than just watching profits sit there. Okay.
Um, so yeah, that's just something that I really wanted to cover uh, referring to this tweet. Um, and yeah, I think that's it, everybody. Uh, sorry that it was a bit of a quicker video today. But yeah, I'm so busy at the moment. I'm literally, I've got so many things on. Uh, really, really busy. Don't get me wrong, I'm absolutely loving it. Um, and I've got so much things planned, but it's, it's yeah, proper busy for me at the moment. But I, I'm absolutely loving the trading. Loving making these quick videos for you all. I hope you have all found this helpful. Um, I know uh, many people hopefully will like it. And if not, no worries. <laughs> um, yeah, that's it, everybody. Thank you honestly so much for watching. Thank you all for the continued support. And I will catch you all in the next video. Thank you, everybody. Stay safe. Have a brilliant time trading. Work out your plans. Just stay by your stay by your plans. Stay by your strategies and just abide to them. Thank you, everybody. And I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers. <laughs>